Hey guys, so my hair looks like a mess. Sorry. Um, so I just got back from dinner and now I'll just be filming a products I regret buying tag. Um, oh, this one's wrong with this angle. I don't like it. Okay. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to film this really quickly. This will be my first products I regret buying tag. And I do have drugstore makeup and some non drugstore makeup. So yeah, I'm not going to go in any particular like face for me because that's too confusing. I mean, I'll try to, but um, I'm just going to like grab stuff as it comes. So the first thing is this big palette. And this is Drugstore. I know that it is LA Colors, but but I would have kind of expected more because this was like not expensive. But like, um, I am going to use this for tutorials, but still, like, I take a color, let's see, I'll just take this color for example, you can see it on my finger, but I put it on my hand, and it's just like, bam, like, do you even see it there? No, neither do I, I'll take like a dark color, I'll take the darkest color in here, let me see. What is that? It's not even there, like seriously. I don't even know. This is like not a good palette. I just don't like it at all. Okay, the next thing, I'm gonna try to do drugstore first. So the next thing is just this brush. And I know, I would expect non good things from e.l.f. But it's still only a dollar, and I actually have not used this for like a while. Um. My new, like, holy grail brush is this MAC 130 brush. It's just a small. I, I want to get the bigger uh, brush of, wait, stippling brush. But, yeah. Um, but I used to use this for my foundation, and it just does not blend. It just doesn't, uh, no. Like, do not get this brush. This is the professional foundation brush, and it's just not good. I'm actually throwing this away right now. It's in the trash can. Okay. The next thing is this, and this is the Maybelline Cover Stick Corrector Concealer, and this is green, it's a green concealer, and I have like really red undertones, but you can see if I like back up like my cheeks, so it's also better to be good to be like, yeah, dab, 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 rub, no, I put it on my skin, and it just sinks into my creases, and it's just not a good thing. It's just, it, it doesn't even help, so. I don't know what this is trying to do, but it's not good. <laughs> um, sorry. Like, I use this every day under my eyes. It's just a regular one from Maybelline, but whatever. Okay, the next two things are, uh, blushes. This is an e.l.f. blush. And I thought this would be really pretty because I, this is my first, like, sorry, um, like, dark color blush. And this is in Pink Passion, and this will not be able to focus, just saying. But, yeah, it's just Pink Passion from e.l.f. And it looks like this. And I thought they would like it because it's, like, a dark color. It's, like, really, like, a uh, peachy slat. I don't even know what, oh, my God, look at my nose. That's, that's not even okay, okay. So, when you put on your skin, though, it's just, like, not, it's, like, ugh, doesn't have any pigmentation. Like, you, when you have, when you see a color and you buy it, you want the color that you saw. Like, no, it's, anyways, the next blush is the Dream Bouncy Blush, and I do have one of these that I like. Um, I don't know what color it is, and I'm not gonna, actually, At the moment, I don't even know where it is, but this one is in fresh pink. Oh, wrong side. Number 05. And, uh, it just... I mean, I'm not saying I don't like this. But then again, it just does not show pigmentation. Like, it's so fun to, like, play around with. And the other one's a lot bouncier, I think. Maybe I just didn't get a good one. I have no idea. Because I know that a lot of people love these things. And it's really fun to play with. I'm just going to ruin this, actually, by, like, playing with it so much, because it's really fun. 
yes, with a giant dent in it. But, um, yeah, it's just, like, even by me digging my finger all the way down there, like, look at my finger. There's just nothing. Like, it's just, oh, this is really annoying. But, yes, there's just nothing there. But I do like my other ones. So maybe it's just this color. So do, I do not recommend fresh pink. Yeah, okay. Um, the next thing, which I say face products, um, is the number seven Stay Perfect Eye Mousse. Okay, so when I first got this, I, I put it on my finger and put it under my eyes thinking eye mousse. Like, it's gonna, I don't, I have no idea what I did with this. But, um, apparently it's not what it means. I have no idea what this even is, but I hate it. Because I don't know what, just, I don't even know. I don't even know why I put that in this video. Just, okay. Um, then, oh, wait, that's not a drugstore. Hmm. Oh, these two lipsticks, um, they're by Kate. And on the little box thing, like, where you first get it, I got these at Walgreens. Um, it's like... Put this over your lipstick to add a little bit of more color. And I was like, oh, okay, it's going to be like these little light pinks. Does this look like a light pink? It's like, a... well, this one's like actually kind of pretty. Like, I would wear this as a lipstick, but this one, like, how are you supposed to put this over a lipstick? It's just like, bam, like dark red. Like, that's not even okay. That's like, that's like old lady red. I mean, I'll wear this if I want like a straight up red lip. But, no, I'm not just going to, like, put this over my lipstick. Like, what is this? I don't even know. But it's by Kate. And the colors are... I have no idea. They're 90 and 09. That's cool. Okay. Um, the next thing is by e.l.f. again. This is in Hypershine Gloss, and it's just like, you twist this thing and it'll like come out the other end, and th I mean, it's kind of pretty, but everybody on YouTube is like talking about these things, but I just don't see why. I just don't like it at all. It's like really sticky, and yeah. Okay, um... Oh, I just found the bouncy blush that I like. This is in Pink Frosting, number 10. And it won't open. And it looks like this. And it's, like, so bouncy, and it's actually, like, pretty, and actually, like, shows its color. It's right there. So, yeah, I like this one. Just saying. Okay, um. Okay, now. Oh, I heard all that glitter's talking about this, and how she didn't like it either. And I have, like, all the baby lips, and I love them all, but this one, I just didn't see. I just didn't like it. I don't like the color. And it's, like, not moisturizing. And this is in... Peach Kiss. Yeah, this is just baby lips. The next thing is Maybelline, the Mega Plush. And uh, a lot of people like talk about this all the time, but I just don't. It's like really clumpy. And yeah, I just don't like it. The next thing is, I got this at Target. It's just like a random like lip product. It's by Boots Extracts, and it's in Coconut Lip Balm, Intensively Moisturizes, and it's like really drying. And all my friends are like, "Oh my God, this is so good!" I'm like, "No, it's not." Just like this. It's just not good at all. Not at all. I also have it in um al almond, yeah. They're like five bucks at Target. Um, okay, I have two. I think all the rest are not okay. Um, I'll start off with this. This is the okay. I'm totally not saying that I don't like this product because I love it's a ten, but I just don't like see it doing all of these ten things for me. 
This is the Miracle Sty Styling Serum with the pump bottle. And, um, I just don't see it had shine, control sprays, blah, 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 blah. I don't see it doing all of these things for me. I mean, it does, like, totally make my hair, like, really smooth, but that's, like, the only difference that I saw in my hair was, like, the smoothness when I use this, so, yeah. I'll probably use this a lot in the summer. Okay. The next thing is this. This is a concealer. I don't even know what brand this is. I got it at Target. It's not even, like, it, it works good. Like, I can conceal this freckle. <laughs> yeah, like, it conceals, but it smells, like, so, it smells so bad. It smells terrible. Oh, like, oh, my God. It smells so bad. Like, the worst smell. Oh, just, no. Okay, the next two things are from NYX. Um... I love NYX, but these these two things just no. Oh, there's another thing from NYX. No. Okay. Um. The first thing is a jumbo lip pencil, and I thought that I would like these. I mean, I'm pretty sure I will like these, but just not in this color, you know. Um, it's like really shiny and like pearly, like. And this is in pink brown, and I don't know why it's in pink brown, because it doesn't have any brown in it. But it's in pink brown, and yeah, it's in number 716, and I just don't like it at all. It's just not good on my lips, no. Um, the next two things are eyeliners from NYX, and I mean, I put these on one minute, and the next minute they're just gone. Like, I still use them, but still, this one's in black and this one's in white um <laughs> these are just retractable eyeliner things and the application is just like this yeah this video is getting really long sorry it's gonna take forever to upload um okay the next thing you guys are gonna be like what but this is the high beam and this is just a little, like, sample kind of version. I got it in, like, the, the six-pack of, like, stuff from Benefit. But, yeah, this is the Benefit High Beam, and I do not like this. I mean, I kind of, like, reviewed this a little bit on YouTube, and a lot of other... It looks like I used it all, but I didn't. Um, a lot of other people didn't like it, too. Like, it's not just me. I mean, I like Benetint and, and uh, Posey Tint. But, yeah, like, Posey Tint is my favorite. I pretty much use it like every day. Here's position. I love it, but Benetton just doesn't do it for me. It's just not okay. Like, so yeah. I don't know what it is, but it, I just don't like it. Okay, the next two things are from MAC. Um, the first one, I know this is going to sound like really crazy, but this is a, an eyeshadow. And uh, it's woodwinged, and I just don't really like it. I mean, I, I wear it sometimes, but it's just like kind of dark, and it's like... I don't know, I just don't really like the way, like, it's like, I don't know. It's right there, I just don't like the color. Like, it's not that I'm saying I don't like the product, I don't like the color. So it's like just me, and I have swatches over me. Um, the next thing, I've also heard a few other people say they don't like this. This is the Select, what's all over this? This is the Select your MAC Press Powder, and it's just like a regular press powder. And it's just like... It's not that, I mean, I, like, wear this sometimes when I, when I'm just, like, running out the door and don't feel like doing a full face of foundation. I'll just, like, put it all over my face, and, but it doesn't work. Like, it doesn't cover up anything. I mean, I guess it, like, gives me, like, just the right amount of coverage to run out the door and go somewhere really quickly. But I just don't use this on a regular basis. I just don't really like it. 